product of the Hart family dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Yeah, the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. She's got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. women's division I hope you're ready for a fight uh, Tamina is a scary woman that is a scary human being This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. Oh, this is not good at all. The pet. Oh, nasty impact. down the hard way. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett. Hitman Hart is perfectly executed and can snap an opponent's back like a twig. Uh -oh. At the oh my goodness, crushing it! Natalia has certainly learned this business from some of the best. When the Queen of Hearts takes that first step and turns over her opponent, the sharpshooter is locked in, which means it's all over for Natalia's adversary. The sharpshooter is one of the most famous finishing maneuvers in sports entertainment. All it takes is seeing Natalia slap the submission on an opponent to see why. Bringing it back into the ring. Bringing it back between the ropes. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Hart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. Or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. And I know a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. 
Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. Yeah, at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically oh, cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. You gotta like her chances now. The night could be over for Liv. She goes for the cover. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos Brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows. Th Stepping through. Oh. Uh, the legs, turn it. Sharpshooter applied. I can't believe it, Michael. Natalia is rolling now. Natalia is sports entertainment royalty, and this is the first third generation. They did it. They won the match. That match deserves another look, folks. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. I can't imagine the pain that must have been inflicted by that move. These two girls make me think that we should have a women's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done?